Greetings and welcome. I am Catherine of Sky, the Belt Diva. And last time we set up science. So we have red and green science already on the belt and being processed. Um, this, this episode, I think I want to work on getting oil. Um, also, we have this very large problem of trees right here. I do not want to chop all these trees. I thought about between episodes just chopping and chopping, but I noticed one happy little thing. Grenades can be researched. So I'm going to, to research grenades. First thing, pretty much. Um, so then we can just take out those trees like a pro and not be worried with chopping them down because I have more than enough wood for probably the entire factory by now. And we'll be getting more wood later when we start using robots and such. So yeah, we're gonna chop these trees down with grenades. Explosive chopping. Rapid deconstruction by explosion. So I just plopped a radar last time and the interesting thing is I see only three oil patches and that was in our starting area. So we're going to have to do some serious scouting to find the uh, where the, the oil is hiding on this map. Oh, here we go. Grenades. Here we come. Uh, and in the meantime, maybe start gearing up for a little bit of uh, combat. Uh, the biter evolution should be pretty low because the pollution has not spread outside this massive forest we're in. Wow, that was quick. All right, lab research speed. That sounds good. Uh, I may just plop some more radars out in the wild and uh, see see if it gets us any further uh, information about where we're at. Uh, in relation to the biters, especially. Ah, oh, yay, I have my second hot bar. That's awesome. And I'm going to also set up... Uh, oh, here we go. We got heavy armor. Just need copper and steel. There we go. Heavy armor. Nice. And grenades. Need iron plate and coal. So I'm going to set up a, a temporary uh, structure for making those things. Let's just get some belts and... Few splitters. There we go. Um, right. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. So sometimes I, I cheat and I do this. It's it's kind of cheaty, but that's okay. It's only going to be here for a short while because I'll either move grenades production elsewhere. Or we just won't use grenades. Um, the only thing I really use them for in late game is going to be something like, um, you know, tree clearing in terms of a fire break. Because robots are very, very efficient at clearing trees. So they're only for sort of emergency fire break possibilities. Let's see which inserters we need. Need some more yellow ones. There we go. Let me just rearrange my hot bar slightly. Like these there and long handed there. I'm just gonna be shoved there and then let me make a regular pipe so it can sit properly in its spot. There we go. And phone poles can go there, power poles can go there. And oh I need to set up medium power pole production as well. These oh and I need to set up assembling machine production. How silly of me to forget. Okay, and for substations, these require advanced circuits and steel plates. Hmm, I might put a separate uh, assembly line for those. That seems okay. So let's set up these. And then these also take the same exact things. Iron chest and more iron plates. Will do. Let's grab some stuff. Mm -hmm. And what do we want next? Ah, oil processing. That seems like a good idea. So let's do that. I'm going to destroy some stuff. I don't really need any more wooden chests. and I don't need the burner mining drills any longer, nor this pistol that keeps sneaking into my inventory. So I'm just going to... Um, there we go. Press C. And it's gone. No more. Good, good, good. How long do these take to make? Half a second. Great. Fast inserters for you. There we 
go. Awesome. So I probably, I probably just need this. I don't really need that. This can move to be under the power pole. Well, shoot, I forgot to... Actually, let me put these here. The hot bar. There we are. That's nice. Excellent. So, make the long range ones as well. And we'll limit the chests so they don't make billions of them. Because that can be a problem. So these need lots of stuff. I wonder if I should make a... I can make a second inserter. Just so it gets stuff in there faster. Because I'm thinking about possibly going down here uh, and dragging power poles. Because this looks like a really good spot to harvest some of this iron ore and the copper. And I can also put a radar down there while I'm there. Just to, um, you know, scan this area. Hopefully we can find some oil at some point. That would be very beneficial to us. So, ah yes, we need to set up assembling machines. So I will do that now. Now, assembling machines are kind of cool. Two, three, oops. Because again, I love this, this idea of putting things into one chest and then making them requesters later on in the game. There we go. That's for assembling machine three. Great. And I like the idea um, that the devs included of having this reusability of stuff. That's really great. It uh, definitely works with our world environment. Um, at least a lot of people would prefer to recycle things instead of throwing them out, I think, if they had a choice. Alright, so this one needs this, and this, and you need this, and that. Oops. Put those downward so I can cover them with the proper power pullage. Okay, great. And I'm going to limit these chests again. Okay, excellent. Cool. And then this will be for assembling machine threes when we finally get them uh, researched. I have to say I've been enjoying actually using the assembling machine twos. Oh wow, we're low on electricity. I wonder what happened. Maybe I don't have enough coal. Let me check and make sure that's not the case. Let me grab some just in case it is. I'm now in a panic. Oh my god. Or maybe I just made too much production. That's another thought I had. Okay, let's get sulfur. I'm gonna get all of those things working. Oh, I forgot to put the power here. Let me just do that. And limit this to, say, one stack should be enough. Let's go check on power. Oh. Oh, we ran out of coal. Oh dear. That is a problem. So I'm going to feed these with coal first because they need to be generating power so that we can have the miners producing at full tilt again. Okay, good. Now this should be enough power or enough coal to last quite some time. Did feed these. Okay, good. Okay, let me go and get some more coal. Just make sure those boilers are not too badly off. Because if it keeps going at a very, very slow rate, then the miners are not going to be able to catch up in terms of producing coal. And the whole factory could just grind to a halt. That would be extremely bad. Don't want that to happen. Just put those ones in front that need coal. Awesome. Okay, so now 
Electricity is doing fine. Good, good, good. Okay, well, sort of fine. Not not totally fine. Not yet. I might just need to, to put another column of steam engines down. Alright, let's go and build some more boilers real quick. I can I have enough stone, so. Ten, one, two, three, four. Pump. And we need more iron for steam engines. Ten of those. Good. You know what? We might just get to try out some of our newly made grenades. Where did they go? Oh, they're down here. There we are. Alright, 16. That'll do us. That should work. Let's see. We shall see. Okay, I don't know if they'll be ideal. Oh dear. No, they're not ideal. Especially not next to these other uh, structures. Um, I think we need grenade damage to be higher. But if I aim them away from the structures, that, that, that worked a lot better. Okay, that was good. Then I only have just a few to clear here. I think when you get grenade damage maxed, they will destroy the trees in one go. Oh, wow, look at this crater. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna repair these poor, poor boilers. Oh, I forgot about the other method of getting rid of trees. You can also shoot them. Of course, it works a lot better with armor-piercing ammo, which I don't have... Um, being made. kind of like to switch directly to lasers if I can, but sometimes it's it's not possible. We'll just have to see what the biters are, are doing and what their level of evolution is like. Okay. Alright, just working on getting all of the Components of oh here we go we need flammables yes let's have that going on because we want the flamethrower op weapon Ooh. it's made fighting biters a lot more accessible that's for darn sure okay I'm gonna do one of these you can actually cover the entire thing in two goes wow that looks so cool <laughs> they're like exercising so funny. Okay. So. Steam engines. Let's go. Now we'll have power pulse. Excellent. Flamethrower. Boom. Good. So what is the power looking like now? Okay, it's not doing too badly. Um, plastic. Okay, it's not bad at all. I'm gonna go and gonna get more grenades, just in case we have to run into some biters. Uh, and most importantly, I'm gonna drag the power down to that area so we can be efficient about getting things organized here. There we go. Pulls and pulls. Great. And I can even take some miners with me. Even though I probably won't be using them uh, first thing, but we'll see. We shall see. That's all backed up. Good, good. Excellent. Things are working, happening stuff. Okay, we still need... Wow, we still need more of this stuff coming in. Ah, that's why. Okay, we have throughput problems because it's only going on one side of the belt. And I really should have fixed this right here. 
that was kind of silly of me not to put it in properly because I knew it was going to cause throughput issues. Okay, now that's going to be much better. And it's still not doing much. Well, we'll research red belts and then it won't, hopefully won't be an issue. Though actually, we can we can do it differently. I can put this, we can do this this way, and put this ahead of it so that any backup will go here. Uh, and this one will be feeding essentially straight into that one. And that, that looks like a better solution, I think. Okay, let me just put down these mining drills here. Excuse me, rock. Okay, that's good enough. Rock, go away. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna head this away. So I'll start our electrical poles from here. Giant ones. There we go. Just kind of using the mini map for guidance. Lands on new. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, thick forest, thick forest. Yep. Okay. There we go. Let me craft a couple of, um, oh, I can't. Oh, darn it. Can't craft gun, gun turrets, alas. But that's okay. If, if the radar gets destroyed, it'll be okay. I'm not too terribly worried about it. But the important thing is we're getting power down here, which is good. Um, I think we'll leave it right there, and I'll put the radar down. Let's explore just a little bit down this way. See what's here. Wow, there's so much. So much nothing over here. They really fixed the map gen, looks like it. Because I remember on the uh, uh, earlier map gen, 0 0.12, even if you put resources very infrequent and very, um, essentially very far away from each other, it didn't seem to operate that way. You seem to, to get resources everywhere. So this is really cool that they're quite, quite far away from each other. Ooh, here's a place where we could use a nice uh, filtering system to get the ores going on. These are huge ore fields. I'm loving this. It's excellent. Lots of fun. And I have all the resources set to be very infrequent. Wow, I'm going to need to research trains here shortly because this is quite a distance away. Far, far, far too far away to uh, belt all this stuff or transfer it via pipes, I think. This is really getting to be a good start to this map. I'm liking it. Very nice, indeed. But it's hard to, to believe how little oil there is so far. It's, uh, it's interesting. Though hopefully once we do find it, it should be, oh wow, big biter nest. Big biter nest right there. Okay. I don't think they saw me. I could sneak away. Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can circumnavigate this lake. Let's see what's on the other side. If there's any nice oil deposits here. Hmm. Of course, this lake is turning out to be almost like a sea. Good lord. It's huge. Dang. 
Okay, I might have to just sneak by those biters again. Let's see if we can go south a bit. All right. Well, looks like time is up, but I still haven't found any oil. So what I think I'm going to do is between episodes, I think I'll explore a little bit more uh, and try to find this elusive oil. Uh, so you don't, you guys don't have to watch me getting caught on trees at the moment, as I am doing. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.